first thing is every big online community that you see out there today, every single big online community began as a small community first. So they got that concept of the community right first. So what happens far too often is that a small business, um, a small consultancy perhaps will think, you know, I'm going to get my customers or I'm going to get my clients and I'm going to have this huge community and they promote their um, new community on their mailing list and they try and get as many people to join as quickly as possible. But that turns out to be the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Because in the very first stages of a community, you just need a couple of people there willing to talk about the topic. And what we find is that most people don't want to talk about you. As interesting as your business is, as interesting as, it, as important it is to you, to your customers, it's just one part of their day. And it's one of many inputs that they see every day. If I look around here, I've got a phone, I've got a table, I've got a laptop, I've got a water bottle. These are different companies and I don't have the time to participate in a community for every one of these companies just around here right now. Um, but we do want to talk about things that we are interested in, things that we either spend a lot of money on, things that are a part of our identity, or things that are going to, or things that we spend um, a lot of time on as well. So we spend a huge amount of time participating in communities around travel, around the hobbies that we have, for example, around these kind kinds of things. So the very first thing is to figure out what the concept of that community is going to be. So who's it going to be for? What is that community going to be about? So if you sell um, washing machines, for, for example, people love, wa they love the washing machines because they don't have to think about it. They put the washing in, it gets done. So the thing they don't want to be doing is spending time talking about washing machines. But if you were to think, okay, what kind of community might be useful within this field? Maybe it's a community for people who want to spend as little time as possible doing their home, their home washing chores or their home DIY chores. So now you have a, co a concept for that community that's more likely to stick, that people are going to come, there's clear value from participating, there's clear knowledge that you're getting. So the very first thing is to figure out what the concept of that community is. Sometimes it can just be for people that want to get as smart as possible within that topic. So we have a community for people that build online communities and the goal of that community is really simple. We want you to become as smart as possible within that field. Um, but it might, be, say, it, it might be sharing time saving tips. It might be a whole range of different things that um, it can be out there. The second part is to begin with 10 members. So you have to interview a lot, a lot of people to begin with, find out what their challenges are, find out what their problems are, and then make sure your first discussions are around those things. And then you invite those people that you, that you in, in, interviewed in the first place, the people that told you these were the things that they were struggling with to participate in exactly these kinds of, these kinds of discussions. And the power of that is that you have people that you know are going to participate and it gets a community off the ground and it validates the concept itself. So once you know these people are going to join and participate, you know it's going to take off after that. So the challenge now is just to gradually invite more and more, peop more, more pe people to join. What you don't want to do is have this big launch um, because a big launch is very risky. You only get one shot at it. And most people are going to join and see an empty online community. And that's not what you want. So get the concept right first. Make sure it's something that people are going to be really excited about. It doesn't have to be about you. And usually it won't be about your business, but it'll be about some problem that your business solves. Um, begin really, really small. Get the, get the concept right in the first place. Make sure you know how to reach the people you want to join and participate and then grow steadily from there. Invite 10 people at a time, 50 pe people at a time. Make sure you can onboard them, get them actively engaged as a result of doing that.